Hi everybody, I just want to come on here and share a quick uh, video. I, I thought I was um, just scrolling through my Instagram um, <laughs> like everyone else does after work and <clears throat> I came across a post from a uh, Disability Advocate in America and he posted a post that I find is offensive and insensitive and not to just to me but to a lot of people I would say in particular women and and I want to get across the point that not all people with disabilities think the same. And, and that's why I came on. Because normally I wouldn't do this. Normally and not the premise of my YouTube channel or Instagram account. My, it's all about being neutral and just give the facts and my, but I think it is an important topic and it's in the area of abortion and the woman's right to have an abortion. Now, I believe a woman has a right to choose whatever she wants with her body. It's her body, it's her choice. Again, I'm not against that, and that's what I believe. When it comes to the topic of disabilities, a child, if a mother was told that the child will be born with a severe disability, or with a disability, I, that's one, it's a complicated area, a grey area, how I feel on it, Ultimately, the mother has a right to choose a portion. Would I choose it myself? I'm not sure. I would like to think I wouldn't, but that's not the reality. Now, with that said, I think the woman should have should be provided with the right amount of advice by the doctor or nurse or whatever, given the, the right amount of support and cultivated support for parents or mothers of disabled children. Right? I think this should be made out from the word go. Right? The moment that the doctor, the father, the mother, the parents, whatever, about the child being born with a disability. They should be said, look, this is a story, there's a chance of the child surviving. If the child survives, this is not going to happen. These are the support that you will get. And then, it down to your mother, right? Your mother again has a choice to terminate your pregnancy, but I do not like the post by this disability advocate saying, oh, a sin, the world's greatest sin to abort children. And in particular, implying because he's disabled, he is implying that children abort children with disability, that a sin, God, and he brings in religion to it, and he brings um, disabilities into it. I think that's wrong. It ultimately the person, the mother's decision, and I think we. Anyone, man, woman, person with a disability or not, have no right to 
say things like that and post things like that because choosing an abortion and choosing to abort a child I cannot imagine how hard it is and I don't want it I literally cannot imagine it and I would never insult a woman by even suggesting that I can't imagine it But what I don't want people to be, to believe by I get your impression that all people with disabilities are naturally automatically against abortion. That's not the case. I'm not. I'm not against abortion. Well regardless if the child is able or disabled. All I'm for is that the if the child is disabled, that the doctor and the support services are made knowing to the parents and mother. And I think we should invest more into providing support for people with disability and parents with disability, of children with disability, rather than trying to Go back to old school tactics of saying abortion is bad, women who go abort people with children with disabilities is evil. I can't get wrong. And the guy who posted this is sending out the wrong message. Being women have a right to abort their children. It, they feel that is what right for them. It is not an easy decision. Don't get me wrong. I am not. Um, so yeah, no, that what I want to try. Again, I don't like attacking fellow people, fellow advocates, but I just want to share a different perspective. And I think it was just too much of a serious topic to say, to post a really nearly post about, or a grammatic post about religion and God saying it's evil to um, abort a baby with a disability. I think that's an awful thing to say. Um, and again, I apologize on his behalf. Um, he could not speak for all of us. Um, now, um, I thought I'd say that. Thank you very much.